Surf and turf in a restaurant, one of the great joys in life. But how about surf and turf on your grill in a foil packet? You have to almost do nothing to. Now you're living. Let's say you're going camping. You want to make your life easy, but still delicious. This is the answer for you. How about this? Let's say you got people coming over and you're a lazy fuck and you don't want to do the work when they're there. You can do the work beforehand. Then enjoy your company. Wait, but first I have to make an announcement. We have to talk about something, don't we? Can you see my nose? Should I get closer? See my nose? Do you want to tell them what happened? Don't shake. No reason to shake. Lewis got his teeth cleaned yesterday, and boy, are they beautiful. And I think I was admiring his fresh teeth and giving him too many kisses and too close to him last night, maybe holding. He might have been sore, I don't know. And all of a sudden, he went, Kink! and he bit me. Cut, cut. It wasn't fun, was it? No. Did you want to say sorry to everybody and me right now? You can. Lewis. <laughs> Look at him. Savage. Look at him. And Kelly goes, I told you that was going to happen sometime. <laughs> Go, why? She goes, you just get too close to him. I go, you get close to him. What is it? All right. All right. We've made up. Jordan from the Sons of Sam uh, video. The one with the mustache. Oh, wait, they both have mustaches. Slightly older. The, Max's middle brother. We had a giant, big, 100-pound uh, Briard. Jet black, beautiful, Ben. And Jordan was sitting with him one day and was like doing this right in front of his face. And the dog went, clunk, like seven or eight stitches right here. That's just now a cute dimple. I wasn't expecting it, Lewis. All right, you say goodbye, go back to sleeping. All right, well, with that out of the way, a steak, shrimp, corn, random vegetables. We make a great seasoning, some garlic butter business, and everything gets wrapped up and it goes on the uh, grill behind me. And in 20 minutes, you're done. And eating. And happy. And wait till you see the cleanup, because that part's, well, just throw it away. Little spice mixture, first. All right, we begin with three tablespoons Chipotle chili powder. One, two, three. About the same of brown sugar. Okay, the same of brown sugar. And then we've got two tablespoons of, <laughs> then two tablespoons of cumin. One, two. Same of garlic powder. One, two. Same of smoked paprika. One, two. And then a tablespoon each of kosher salt, coarse ground black pepper. And this we will mix. And by the way, I keep this almost all the time in a container on the side of my counter. I put it in my scrambled eggs in the morning. I put it on all kinds of stuff. Beef, fish, chicken, poultry, blah, 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 blah. Put this off to the side. Let's cut some veggies, meat, and whatever. I want some red pepper in this. So let's cut some red pepper. Everything's going in this bowl beside me. Let's cut some red onion. Aren't they pretty? I love the color of them. Love their color. And then just like this. These guys will break up as we put them in. Next up, corn. Okay, so I don't want this little end like that. And I don't need this end. But now I want uh, one, two, three, four, five. So we'll make little rounds. Perfect. These, in. Two more things. One's a bunch of peeled shrimp. You know shrimp are classified by how many per pound? So there's 31 40s. That means there's between 31 and 40 per pound. 15 16s, 15 per pound, and they're bigger. Smaller the number, the more shrimp per pound. One more thing, some steak. Beautiful New York. That we don't want to cut too small, so let's go like this. Like this, like this. Now we'll cut these into sort of nice sized cubes. Good, drop these guys in, beautiful. Now, before we do anything with that, let's make a little garlic butter. Into our little pot, it's about a quarter, what is this, quarter cup of butter. Three, four tablespoons. And some garlic, and I want three nice cloves in here. About a half a tablespoon of soy paste, just for a little kick of deliciousness, and this goes on the heat. Swag. Our butter's melted, now it's time to butter and season. So we'll take our butter and we'll go like this. And you want those like little chunky pieces in there too. Give this a bit of a mix. Get everybody a little bit moistened. And when they have been, we come in with some of our seasoning. I think you can be fairly generous. We're gonna do one layer on top, give it a mix, add a little bit more. And when everybody's mixed, it's foil time. So here's what you need. We wanna make a foil packet about this big. I want everything kind of in one relatively flat layer, but we want to double the foil, and this is heavy duty foil, so we'll double it, fold it in half, put our stuff here, see how we do. Oh, we come. So now I'm gonna do this. One fairly nice rectangular section so I can get my folding happening. So let's do this. I want to make like an envelope. You can see my stuff in here, right, Maxie? 
And here's how I want to seal it. I'm going to make a couple of folds. The goal is to seal in the steam. And if you just pinch the top, that's not going to work. So a couple of times of this, once more. Great. Now we'll fold up the ends. It's level. That's the important part. Nothing's too stacked up so it won't cook unevenly. All we have to do now is throw this on the grill. Or if in the case I mentioned earlier, you got people coming over and you don't want to do the work while they're there, just put this in the fridge. Do it in the morning. Bring it out at the five o'clock. Let it sit out for 20, 30 minutes and put it on your grill at 530. We're going to do that. It's going to go on one side, 10 minutes, lowish medium heat somewhere 375 to 400 if you can figure out the temp for your grill. 10 minutes, flip it, 10 minutes, we're eating. Bob's your uncle. Might really be your uncle. It was really my uncle. I had two Bob was my uncles. Two of them. Lucky me. And we're on. Always give it a little love pat. Close her up. See you in 10 minutes. It's been 10 minutes. Give her a turn over like this. Oh. Gloves, Sam. Gloves. Peace out. There we go. So always go seam side down first before the juices build up. Then when I flip them over and the seam's on top, it can juice all the hell it wants. All right, see you in another 10. And it's time. Looks like it's gotten a little puffy, doesn't it? Come on, you. Oh, let's do something great together. And there's our buddy. There's our buddy. I think we can do, oh boy. Here's the problem I'm gonna have. You know what the problem's gonna be? Heat. Hot, super hot. Don't they make things called gloves? Here we go. Look it. Open up your little window. Ready for steam. Mother ever. <laughs> Fuck. That's, gosh, it's really hot. Oh my God. I just can't. I just can't. I just. Oh, look at that. Damn. Huh? Huh? What you think about that, son? We got two things for it, of course. And then I like the idea that we give it just a little squeeze of some lemon. Now you're talking. Now you're talking. No, you're talking. Now stop talking so we can eat. <laughs> we take your dumb picture, please, so I can have a bite of this. Yeah. This makes me very happy. The corn, shrimp, veggies and this sauce oh, i just need some bread try not to eat bread but i need some bread because i want to do that and then shove it in my mouth let's have a shrimp first nice let's make it shrimp and red pepper instead mm -mm. shrimp nicely cooked oh red pepper still a little bite to it mm. the heat on my tongue is beautiful too a little bite of steak mm-hmm mm-hmm and then corn. Wow, it's all good. It's all good. Oh, it's perfect. All right. Oh, wait. Couldn't get a towel. Am I allowed to use this one on my face or they're just for. No. I can't use it you my shouldn't face. You use kitchen towels on your face. I use whatever I want, where I want. It's my face and my name. Find your way to making this. I'll put anything you want in. Come on. Who are we to tell you what you can and cannot make in a foil packet? Just know that it's easy AF. And when you're done, take the foil, throw it behind you. Or maybe into a garbage can. That might make more sense. See ya. Hit the subscribe button.